Get up and come downstairs, please. After several wake-up calls, Dilek Yilmaz gets her family together for breakfast. At 7 in the morning, the conversation is pretty monosyllabic, but also bilingual. Tana Yilmaz, who works in the car industry, came to Germany as an adult and doesn't speak much German. But his wife, Dilek, grew up here in the town of Völklingen. Like her daughters, she feels Germany is her home. When we go on holiday, we say, we're going to Turkey on vacation. But after three weeks there, we always say, when are we going home? This is home. It's time for school. 14-year-old Betul is in the eighth grade. Later, she hopes to go to university and become an elementary school teacher. I like going to school, but this year I haven't done so well. Hopefully, I'll do better next semester. German instruction at Betul's school. Eight of the 22 kids in her class are of Turkish descent. Statistically, some of them do not have a bright future ahead. 40% of Turks in Saarland don't have any kind of diploma or other qualifications. And there's one main reason for that, language. A few of the pupils have language barriers, others don't. That also has to do with their parents and with the language that's spoken at home. Dilek Yilmaz is what's called a second-generation Turk. Her parents came here looking for work and spoke little German. After finishing high school, Dilek worked as a seamstress, a cleaning lady, and a sales clerk. The 38-year-old says that the German language is not the only barrier faced by Turks in Germany. She says prejudice is still widespread. When I asked, are you hiring, they said no. But the next day I saw someone else behind the cash register, a new sales girl. Tens of thousands of people once worked here at the Völklingen Steelworks. Now it's a world cultural heritage site. The plant's closure is one reason why unemployment runs at over 20% among Zarland's Turkish population. In the 1960s and 70s, many southern Europeans and Turks, including Dilek Yilmaz's father, were hired to meet the demands of the booming coal and steel making industries. No education was required, just physical strength. The boom times are history, but the Turks are still here. Many of them have lost their jobs. In this economically depressed region, there are few alternatives. For a long time, Zarland failed to help its foreign workers. The Turks figured they'd go back home one day, and that is the mentality. On the other hand, German society had also assumed that one day these guest workers would return home. But that didn't happen. Decades had passed before we recognized the importance of promoting integration. In Saarland, the Turks often keep to themselves. They marry other Turks and cling to their traditions. But Dilek Yilmaz and her friends say other groups in society do just the same, including the Germans themselves. Do I have to celebrate Christmas with the Germans before they'll view me as belonging here? They're always telling foreigners, integrate, integrate. It has to come from both sides. Residents of Turkish origin haven't always felt very welcome here. In the 1980s, the government even offered them money to return to Turkey for good. But German society has changed since then. Now immigrants receive special support, like this computer course organized by the labor office in Zablucken. It's part of a program that readies job seekers with an immigrant background for the labor market. Since 2007, a team specializes in advising foreign nationals. Employees with an immigrant background are themselves members of this team and function as role models. When a family of Turkish descent comes to our office and meets an employee who's also of Turkish origin, and they see her name tag, then they realize, ah, it's possible to sit on the other side of the desk too. 
But before they can work, immigrants need to get an education, which means learning German. Völklingen organizes special language classes for preschool children and their immigrant parents. Dilek Yilmaz also tries to do more to educate her sons and daughters. As the head of Völklingen's Turkish Parents Association, she organizes private lessons for children, even acting as a math tutor herself. Here, integration even functions the other way around. German pupils also receive help. Sometimes we don't work for just one and a half, but for two or three hours, until they've really understood the topic. Their mothers were really thrilled with us. That made me really happy and made me want to tutor even more children. Dilek's daughter Betul wants to be a teacher herself one day. Völklingen boasts some 2,500 Turkish residents, but only two teachers of Turkish descent.